Although we've got really good weather at the moment, you can see those beautiful blue skies and it's going to go up to about 18 degrees, I think, today. At night, we've had some cold snaps and cold snaps um, are not too good for us because it means that all those wonderful buds and blossoms on the fruit trees and fruit bushes uh, when the frost gets onto those they die and shrivel away and then we don't get any fruit and that's what's happened here for the last two seasons. Tam's dad planted I think it's a tangerine tree uh, last season and we were really worried that we wouldn't get any fruit this year so over the last couple of evenings um, we've put a plastic bag over the top of it I know but at least uh, in the night when the frost comes you know it gets to minus one it snaps onto that plastic bag um, and not onto the fruit and look it survived another night I think we'll have to do this for another couple of nights though but as you can see through this short look around we've got blossoms everywhere uh, and I like seeing that I just think yeah blossoms in spring really cheer up the heart doesn't cheer up Tamara <laughs> too much because she suffers with, uh, suffers with pollen allergies. And we've got some new neighbours. Let me introduce them to you. I think I counted seven tiny lambs from this very, very small uh, flock that are in the field next to where we live. We've got a bit of an issue. We have to be responsible because... Uh, our dogs run free, well, in, in the garden, obviously, inside the fences. But uh, barking dogs worry sheep, and we don't want to give the sheep any stress. So uh, for the foreseeable future, next couple of days, definitely. Um, and while the sheep are out grazing next door, the dogs are going to have to be restrained somewhat. So we're going to have to be pretty creative about that. So with the birds chirping away, and I've got the sun on my back, which feels really cool, that's another mini update from the village. Oh, last night I was in Banyaluka with Tamara. She went to meet some friends she hadn't seen for a long time. And I went to get a cup of tea in a beautiful place just opposite the Ferhadia Mosque. Z's cup of tea. And uh, it was wonderful. You find it on uh, Instagram, um, Z's cup of tea. Um, a lovely lady is the owner and running it and we've agreed to do a podcast in the not too distant future so watch out for that and if you do go to z's cup of tea why don't you leave them a review share it wherever you uh, wherever you share your stuff and yeah that's my update stay safe wherever you are eh